The first thing on the Article 50 agenda is the bill. The EU is demanding Britain pay up to 60 billion euros to cover the current budget and future pension liabilities. The Britanniques sont tenus de respecter les engagements à la confection desquels ils ont pris la part et donc la facture sera pour le dire un peu vulgairement très salée. The government says the figure should be much lower, especially once its share of EU assets, such as the brand new Europa building in Brussels, is factored in. As a result of Brexit, we will be able to take back control of the money that we currently give to Brussels. Sure. Either way, this dispute could scupper the talks before they even begin. Second comes trade, but this is highly contentious. The EU says it will only discuss trade after agreeing the exit deal, but Britain wants to know what its future relationship will look like before it signs any checks. This could be another big sticking point. And then there's citizens' rights. Our watchword will be citizens first. Three million EU citizens are anxiously waiting to see what status they will have in Britain after Brexit but Britain will only make an offer if it's reciprocated for the roughly one million British citizens living in the EU. Then there are all the other things like border guards, policing, fishing, airline routes, and environmental obligations. And there are some things that may have slipped the government's mind altogether. Can you confirm that UK citizens would no longer have access to the EHIC health treatment card? I think that's probably right. I haven't looked at that one. Meanwhile, there are elections this year in both France and Germany. But the clock is now ticking. If no agreement is reached within two years, Britain could leave with no deal at all. The UK is officially on the path out of the EU. Now we get to find out where it leads.